Of course, the presence of something as large as a buffalo will attract all sorts of scavengers, including birds of prey, not necessarily just vultures, but also things like tawny eagles. However, now that I've spoken about the eagle, please can we look at the guinea fowl? Because they are thoroughly entertaining and they just remind me so strongly of a story I wanted to tell. However, now of course they're making their noise, but there's a whole load of cars coming, coming past us. Morning. One guinea fowl is making such a noise. Let's see if it'll do it again. So there's a couple of youngsters there actually. You can see they haven't got the fully developed red crest of the adults and the blue face. They just look a little bit nondescript. But I really want the adult to start calling again. Highly underappreciated birds, I think. Look at them. That um, combination of the black with the white dots actually starts to create quite a weird optical illusion after a while. It starts to blur. Running along like little dinosaurs. Now, unfortunately, now there's too much noise around us for us to actually be able to hear the call. But essentially, guinea fowl make a sound that goes something like this. And they do it on repeat at times, which reminded me very strongly of a clock. And the story behind the clock, and I forgive me, those of you who have heard this tale before, we only have so many stories to tell. But um, once upon a time, my boss, before I was working here, decided that what our lives really, truly lacked was a clock with bird calls. Um, every different hour had a different bird call. Some of them was a, one was a fish eagle, one was an orange-breasted bushrike. And I have to confess, uh, something that makes me, I think, sort of the Grinch equivalent in the bird, birding world, I don't like the call of the orange-breasted bushrike. I find it a little bit grating after a while. That's sort of...